There are a bunch of insane things in this world, and sometimes I'm game. Show me what you got. The Zero Breeze Mark II portable battery-powered air conditioner is insane. And let's be honest, I'm game. It's a real air conditioner, kicking out 2300 BTU, and it doesn't use water or ice. Look sharp on the road in a camp with gear from the iHeart RVing store. It's the best gear from the best RV magazine on the planet. For space cooling, I mostly used the Mark II inside this tent enclosure, which is basically eight feet by 10 feet. I camped on several hot, muggy days this summer and used a few different configurations. You need to get the fresh air intake and hot air discharge tubes out of the tent. They connect easily. You just twist them counterclockwise into the connection piece, and then together they click onto the unit. You've also got to pay attention to the water that comes from the condenser, just like, well, this thing is a real air conditioner. The Mark II comes with a hose that you can run out of the tent, or you can set the unit on a camp table or something for some height, and then run the line into a bucket to collect the water. Always make sure the Mark II is tipped backwards just a bit so it can use gravity to empty itself. That's whether you're using the hose or not. It's also fine to just let the water spill out onto the ground when you're outside somewhere. My setups have been really basic, but there's tons of ways to rig all of this. Zero Breeze even includes foam pieces to easily rig in a vehicle window. You can design more permanent built-in solutions too. On their site, they show other YouTubers that have some great setups, keeping their vans, their dogs, RVs, and rooftop tents cool. And you can even reverse engineer this thing to heat a small space. YouTubers are pretty amazing. The Mark II works really well in right-sized spaces, and even though I've been using it in a wrong-sized space, I've had great results. They say the ideal square footage of the area being cool should be between 25 and 40 square feet. Whoops-a-daisy. My tent enclosure at 8x10 makes it about 80 square feet. For performance, the Zero Breeze website says the unit will push out conditioned air 20 degrees below the ambient temp after just five minutes of use. And that's proven to be pretty dead on. On one trip with this tent enclosure, the outside overnight temp was 84 degrees. It was really high humidity and a dew point of 71. That, as you know, is horrible, especially with no wind. I was at a Travel Resorts America RV park in Hinkley, Minnesota, so I had AC power. From about an hour before bed until I woke up, the Mark II was cranking away in rocket mode, which I like to call blast off mode, whatever, which is what you do when the graphic is the shape of a rocket blasting off. The temperature in my enclosure, it was below 68 degrees everywhere. The sweaty wet shirt that I changed out of before bed and hung on one of the support poles was actually dry in the morning. All of this means that you can go out in humid weather, have at least a few dry clothes the whole time, and certainly not feel like you're sleeping in soup. And that is amazing. And certainly not feel like you're sleeping in soup. We all know that feeling. I can hear the team at Zero Breeze now. Don't promise too much. Don't set expectations too high. And they're right. I don't think you could line your whole space with wet clothes, but a polyester shirt or two? I don't know, it worked great for me on a really humid day. They're also for sure over my shoulder, saying that if the space you're trying to cool is in direct sunlight, the Mark II is gonna have a tougher time keeping up. So be mindful of where you set up your camper, your truck, your tent, or whatever. But when you are outdoors, in the heat, maybe in direct sun, at camp, fishing, or at a kid's sporting event, the Zero Breeze Mark II helps make it bearable. It keeps you not hot with what they call spot cooling. That means you put yourself in front of the cold air vent, it blows cold air at you, evaporates your sweat, and takes the edge off. This summer, I did a ton of cooking with the Mark II close by on top of a picnic table. At home, I like to sit out back and read and smoke a cigar or work on videos like this one and I've been able to do it comfortably on these days that normally would have kept me inside. Instead of plugging in, in situations like these, the battery pack makes it easy to stay cool and be on the go. On another one of these over 90 degree days, I hit up a small town Wisconsin parade in St. Croix Falls. The Zero Breeze Mark II was a huge hit. The air was still, save for the air the kids in the band stirred up with their waving flags, but we stayed cool with portable battery power. Don't get me wrong, we stayed cool sort of one or two at a time. And then 
there's this. Well, here it is. Actual footage of me next to a campfire using the Zero Breeze Mark II to stay cool. I've pushed the battery hard, and what Zero Breeze says about three to five hours of runtime, depending on your circumstances and what fan mode you're using, is pretty accurate. If you're using it just as a fan and not cranking up air conditioning, forget about it. The 840 watt hour battery just goes and goes. You'll be home by the time you're wondering how long it will last. Check out the USB-C and USB-A charging ports on the front of the battery. Even when you have other ways to charge your devices, these ports are really convenient. They're just, well, they're right there. So I feel obligated to say that I've had some intermittent charging problems and the engineering team at Zero Breeze has looked into it. We've basically declared the situation resolved. Just keep an eye on your phone so you know it's charging. Check again a half an hour later. The design of the Mark II is really sharp. I love the modern styling. It looks like it belongs in today's world, but also seems classic and stylish. It's not trying to be too retro or campy or anything. Also, I love the durability. It's built to be knocked around a bit and tip a little in your vehicle, no problems. It weighs just 16.5 pounds by itself and 28.5 pounds with the battery. That means it's portable, easy to carry, and easy to take with you wherever you're going. And I mean wherever you're going. What don't I like? That connection cable between the battery and the unit itself. It's the same connection between the wall charger and the unit. They always seem to be harder to get to than they should. And when you're reaching blind, it's like you're trying to plug a coax cable into one of those giant TVs from the 90s. If the Mark II is just going to sit in place and not get moved around, I just push the plug in and it stays just fine. Save yourself the hassle. Another negative is that out of the box, you can't charge the battery and run the unit at the same time. There's an adapter that lets you do that. And I know that there are a whole lot of engineering and marketing discussions to be had in order to make it all work, but I like the ability to cool the air while charging built right in. Looking at the hardtometer, in some accents known as the heart meter It's showing a very solid 4.75 hearts. I removed that quarter heart because I know I'm gonna lose that little cable from the battery to the unit right before I go on a trip one of these days and because you'd need an adapter to charge the battery while cooling the air. One thing we know about life is that the weather is always changing. That's literal weather and the weather of our hearts and our dreams. Some days we see the forecast. It doesn't look great and it's easier to buckle down and not pay attention. Some days we lean right into whatever's coming because that day we've got what it takes to get through. But the weather is a fickle beast. When we're RVing and camping, the brightest days can be the hottest days and we all know they can be muggy. Whatever we can do to cool things down in our own little space on the road and at home, well, that's the stuff that gives us some control over the always changing weather of our travels and, you know, of our insides. The Zero Breeze Mark II gives us a little bit of power over the weather so we can take on the rest in comfort wherever we are. I want to give a huge shout out to Zero Breeze for sending us the Mark II and asking me to honestly put it through the paces. It really helped me enjoy what was a pretty hot summer almost everywhere in the United States. I'm telling you, a portable, battery-powered air conditioner is insane. I'm not just game. I'm saying this product is game-changing. It cools the air exactly as it promises in all sorts of situations. Thanks for spending the time to check out the Zero Breeze Bark 2. Please like, subscribe, and the rest. It really helps this brand new channel. And a huge shout out to Travel Resorts America and to the Kermis Family Farm for giving us the space to put together these great videos so we can send them off to you. This YouTube channel is brought to you by iHeart RV, the best RV and camping magazine in the history of RV. Built by people who know what helps and how to have fun, it keeps you in the know. Subscribe for great tips, great stories, great photography, and even a great crossword puzzle.